Hello everyone. Welcome to Repentino. In this session, we are going to discuss about important formula related to coordinate geometry. Before you start watching this session, do watch our previous videos on sequences and series and trigonometry and other important topics related to mathematics. So let's start with the basic formula distance between two points. So the distance between two points PQ is defined to be square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Coming to section formulae, let's start with internal division. A point Z whose coordinates are X and Y is dividing the line segment PQ internally in the ratio M is to N. So X equal to MX2 plus NX1 by M plus N and Y is equal to MY2 plus NY1 by M plus N. Now what if it is an external division? Here the point Z is dividing the line segment PQ externally in the ratio m is to n. So the values of z that is the coordinates of z are x equal to mx2 minus nx1 by m minus n, y is equal to my2 minus ny1 by m minus n. Area of a triangle PQR whose vertices are PQ and R is area of triangle PQR is equal to half into mod of why do we keep mod here? area shouldn't be a negative value. So the area of triangle is half into mod of x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2. Easier way to remember this is area of triangle PQR is equal to half into mod of the determinant value of x1, x2, x3, y1, y2, y3, 1, 1, 1. This is an easy way to remember the area of triangle formula. Centroid of a triangle, you can see here G which is dividing the median AD in the ratio 2 is to 1. Centroid divides any median in the ratio 2 is to 1. So the coordinates of the centroid are X and Y. You should always note that AG by GD is 2 is to 1. The coordinates of the centroid are x equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3, y equal to y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3. Slope of a line. You can see here the line segment PQ is making an angle alpha with the positive direction of x axis. So we define this slope as tan alpha which is equal to m. You can see the line segment PQ is making an angle alpha with the positive direction of x-axis. So tan alpha is the slope which is denoted by m which is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Where x1, y1 are the coordinates of P and x2, y2 are the coordinates of Q. Some of the important points are if two lines are parallel then their slopes are equal. If two lines are perpendicular, then the product of their slopes is equal to minus 1. Angle between two lines. You can see here there are two line segments PQ and AB. So the slope of line PQ is tan alpha 1, which is denoted by M1. Slope of line AB is tan alpha 2, which is denoted by M2. So the angle between the two lines is theta. Now tan theta is equal to mod of m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2. Rotation of axis. You can see the initial position of the axis x and y. You can see the final position of x axis which is represented with x dash and the final position of y axis which is represented as y dash. So the x axis and the y axis both had rotated theta degree in the anti-clockwise direction. You can see here there is a point A initially, small x small y are the coordinates of A before rotation and capital X capital Y are the coordinates of A after rotation. What is the value of small x? Small x is capital X into cos theta minus capital Y into sin theta. What is small y? Capital X into sin theta plus capital Y into cos theta. Coming to two point form of a line. Now you can see here there is a line L passing through two points A and B whose coordinates are A's coordinates x1, y1 and B's coordinates x2, y2. So we don't know the slope here, but we can form the equation of a line that is y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. 
into x minus x1. You can see here this y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 is the slope. This is the two point form of a line. Next we go to slope intercept form of a line. There is a line which is making an angle theta in the anti-clockwise direction. Now slope is tan theta is m. Y intercept is c. We have clearly mentioned it here. What is the equation of the line? The equation of the line is y is equal to mx plus c. You know the slope here, you know the y intercept. You can go to point slope form of a line. Now this line passes through a point x1, y1 and now the slope of the line ab is m. How do you form an equation? We can write the equation as y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. So this is the point slope form of a line. You will know a point from which the line passes and you will know the slope from which we can derive the equation of the line. Intercept form of a line. You can see here this line segment L is making an x intercept A and y intercept B. How do you form the equation? The equation is x by A plus y by B is equal to 1. Now distance of a point from any line. Here we are talking about the perpendicular distance. Let's see there is a line segment PQ. Now we want the perpendicular distance from a point A whose coordinates are x1, y1 to this line segment PQ. So you can see here perpendicular distance from a point A x1, y1 to the line with the equation ax plus by plus c equal to 0. Now this is the equation of this line segment PQ. So the perpendicular distance is mod of ax1 plus by1 plus c by square root of a square plus b square. So perpendicular distance from any point to a line is this. Next we go to distance between two parallel lines L1 and L2. Here on the right side we have mentioned the equations of L1 and L2. Ax plus by plus c1 and ax plus by plus c2. The distance between two parallel lines that is d is given as mod of c1 minus c2 by square root of a square plus b square. Equation of the angle bisector. You can see here there are two lines L1 and L2. The equation of line L1 is a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0 and the equation of line L2 is a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0. Here you can see m1 is the angular bisector of L1 and L2. So what is m1 doing here? Initially the angle between L1 and L2 was theta. After this, this m1 bisected this angle theta into two equal angles alpha and alpha. Here we are writing the equation of this angle bisector. You can see m2 is also another angle bisector. What is the equation of this angle bisector? It is a1x plus b1y plus c1 by root over a1 square plus b1 square is equal to plus or minus a2x plus b2y plus c2 by root of a2 square plus b2 square. Now why did I keep plus or minus? Yes, it changes depending upon the angle is acute or obtuse. Next, shift of origin O to a new position O dash. Let us take a point P whose coordinates are x and y with respect to the old origin that is origin with coordinates 0, 0. The origin has been shifted to O dash whose coordinates are a, b. The coordinates of this point P with respect to this new origin O dash will be capital X and capital Y. You can see here. What is capital X and capital Y? Capital X is equal to small x minus a and capital Y is equal to small y minus p. These are some of the formulas with respect to coordinate geometry. If we have missed anything, we'll be adding them in the description part. This covers only basics and formulae. This is for one day revision. If you want a detailed explanation of each of these formulas, then please do watch our previous videos. Thank you. With this, we end this session. If you like the video, please hit the like button, comment and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe for all our future videos. Thank you.